In our episode about pets, Avery decided to draw a picture of a cat. But if you really wanted to learn how to draw a dog, you are in luck because I will show you how to do that right now. Okay, so we are gonna start just like we did if you watched the cat video on our episode with two big circles for the eyes. So I'm gonna draw one circle here and then I like to draw a dot where the top and bottom of my circle is gonna be so that they can kind of be more even as we go. So then I'm gonna draw those cute little highlights by drawing a circle up in the corner, even though this isn't really a corner, because it's a circle. I have one circle here that's a little bit bigger. I'll draw a smaller circle, kind of diagonal from it in the other side, and then I'm gonna color this all black, except for inside of those circles. We wanna keep that part white, because that will help our eyes look super shiny and that helps them look really adorable. I've colored in my eyes. I'm gonna draw the snout of my dog and to do that, I'm gonna draw a pretty straight line from right under this eye all the way over to the other eye. And then from there, I'm gonna curve down make a big U shape under that line. Actually, our dog is gonna look like a happy face for a second. And then I'm gonna add a nose inside of here. So for my nose, it's like a rounded triangle. It's a little rounded on top, curved like together like a triangle, but you can see it's a little bit round. So then when I color in the nose of the dog, I'm gonna color mine black. I'm gonna leave a little highlight there too. I'm gonna leave this little white space because dogs have very wet noses. So we wanna make it look shiny, like their wet nose. So then underneath of the nose, I'm gonna draw a J on one side and a backwards J on the other. And I'm gonna put these little like freckles on there just to make it look cute. Now we have to draw the head of our dog and our head is almost a circle. It's a little more narrow down here. So to just do that, I'm gonna draw a big rainbow shape from one side of the eye to the other. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here, under the chin and back up. Ooh, starting to look like a cute dog. It needs some ears. Some dog's ears are kind of shaped like a triangle. Some are really floppy like my dog Ellie, or some are kind of in between. And I'm gonna draw the ears that are kind of in between. So to do that, I'm gonna draw two lines coming out diagonally from the top. It kind of looks like an alien antenna. Then I'm going to come back down, curve towards the face, and then go back up. Poop. These look a lot like my dog Chunk. He has ears that look like this. Sometimes if I don't love a line that I've made, I kind of go over it a second time. So then that way, it kind of covers up any mistakes. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna come down and curve back up like this. I'm gonna go over that line again to make it nice and neat. So now we have our adorable dog face. Our dog needs a cute little collar. So I'm gonna draw a square right here under the chin and then a curved line kind of following where the head is. And I'm gonna draw a line up I'm gonna do the same thing over here, curve line out and draw up to the neck. And then we're gonna have a nice cute little body. So I'm gonna have a line here, curve down and around like this from the collar. And on the other side too, curve down like that to the collar. Ooh, I forgot. So I wanna make a little tag. So I'm gonna draw a little line here and I'm gonna make a dog bone tag. So I'm gonna draw a straight line going across and another straight line going across under it. And on this side, I'm gonna connect with the number three. See how that makes a bone? And on the other side, it's gonna be a backwards three. Just like that. And if you have room, you could write your dog's name inside of there. I have to write really small. Ooh, I fit it, it says chunk. Then I'm gonna draw the legs of my dog. So I'm gonna draw a little bit rounded down like this, a pretty much straight line and a straight line over on this side. Then for my paws, I'm gonna draw a C at the bottom and a backward C over here. 
and then I'm going to curve those C's up to the other side of the legs, just like that. Now he'll have a little belly, so I'm going to draw that line there. And we need some legs on the outside. So that is going to be just a curve line out, come back in, and the letter C. And on the other side, same thing, curve line out, and come back in, and then a backward C. And no dog is complete without a cute little tail. So I'm just gonna curve up and come back down. But dogs all have different kinds of tails. So you can look at some doggy pictures and see which tail you would like to draw. Okay, so I have my adorable dog and now I'm gonna color it in. Actually, I'm gonna leave a lot of my dog white. I'm just gonna draw some uh, brown splotches in some places. Of course, you can color your dog in however you want. Um, and you can use whatever colors you want. Maybe your dog is all white and you're already done. Or maybe your dog is pink. I'm gonna give him a blue collar. And there you go, a cute little puppy. I hope you enjoyed drawing the little doggy. I know I did. I would love, love, love to see your artwork. So take a picture of it and post it to our Facebook page. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Thank you.